Barney Bear's Victory Garden is a really good cartoon. This is an MGM cartoon from 1942. It's directed by Rudolf Ising and written by Cal Howard and narrated by Frank Bingham. And the narrator is instructing Barney Bear on how to make, well, a victory garden. A victory garden, of course, being gardens that were planted during the war so people could grow their own food because, obviously, during war, food was a lot more scarce. And... Barney is doing quite well with this. My favourite bit is when he's sowing the seeds. I won't explain it. You can maybe guess what it looks like, but that bit for me just, it, it amused me so much. I loved how well animated it was. And then this gopher comes along and starts to cause problems for Barney Bear. And I'll say no more about the specifics because obviously the cartoon is about six or seven minutes and I don't want to give away too much, but I really enjoyed it from start to finish. There are a lot of cartoons like this where characters are planting a garden or tending to their vegetables and then an, an animal, often a gopher, will come along and try and eat everything. So that is not unique. But I think having the victory garden theme makes it a little bit different. And the narration is, is really clear and easy to follow and really engaging. And I really loved that aspect of it. Would it encourage people to plant victory gardens? Well... The gopher coming along might dissuade people, but if it even plants the seed of a thought to grow their own garden, that's a great thing. Today, if it encourages people to grow their own gardens, that's a great thing. But as a, an entertainment, as a piece of entertainment, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. It's beautifully animated. As I said, there were a few things, namely so, sowing the seeds. I'm so easily amused. That rather that rather worked very well. And the character of Barney Bear is obviously really great. I really like the design of the gopher. And the narration, as I mentioned, is, is really satisfying and entertaining and easy to follow. So no complaints from me at all. And it might be one of my favourite Barney Bear cartoons. Had it just been Barney and the gopher, no narrator, no victory garden, maybe not. But giving it that extra layer, it makes it a little bit more fascinating. It makes it a little bit more historical. And I found that to be really great. So if you haven't seen it, definitely worth checking out. It's one I absolutely adored. And I'd be very happy to watch again.